Today we're going to show you how to check the charging system on a vehicle. Now, what we're really checking is the ability for the alternator to produce electric current. And uh, if you've had a dead battery or there's been a problem or there's a complaint, you have to test the system. If the battery's dead, it could be because of the battery or it could be because it's not being charged. So you have to eliminate one or the other. And uh, if there is a problem, it could likely be the alternator. So the, the uh, equipment we got to do that is the VAT40, and we showed you how to check batteries with it. And the principle it works on is, is this cord, which is an induction pickup. Induction pickup means it can sense um, current going through this little circle. Now the other thing you should note on here, it's very, very faint, but there's an arrow. And that arrow tells you how to connect this into the car. Now when we're checking batteries, we put it over one of these cables, but when we're checking charging systems, we have to connect it uh, to the, or around the negative uh, battery cable uh, with the arrow pointing away from the battery. The alternator is like the power of a chainsaw. It pulls uh, current from the negative to the alternator and back to the positive. So if we were to check the positive cable, we would have the arrow to the battery. So we're going to have the arrow away from the battery. So we'll hook that up right now. The battery is a little deep in, in this vehicle. There's the arrow. We'll put it just around the battery cable. need to hook up the main cables and black of course goes to negative and red to positive and try not to do any damage when you do this it's got to go a little over here Now sometimes they slip off, in that case you reattach them. So we now have a voltage reading and we see that uh, everything, this is zeroed, the uh, meter gauge is zeroed. We could change that if it wasn't, we just turn the zero button. And the scale switch should be on number two. And you see that changed the zero range, so I'm gonna zero it again. This is off. We're going to use the load test to draw a voltage down so that the alternator thinks it should charge. The alternator has a device called a voltage regulator that will shut the alternator off when it's over 14.6 volts. So we have to bring it down below that to see what the alternator can do. Now it's necessary that the vehicle be started, so you have to have an end driver ready. You have to uh, have all the safety Cautions in place, make sure nobody's in front, and the equipment to the side like we have it, and that the vehicle is ventilated to the outside. So we're, re we're ready to give this um, a go. We'll again zero the ammeter, and we'll start the vehicle, and you try and minimize how long it's been running. So we'll start the vehicle, and we'll, we're going to watch the voltmeter uh, climb. So start the vehicle, please. Now you can see there's uh, some charging going on. Can you bring the RPM up a bit. The RPM should be about a thousand. And the voltage regulator is cutting it out a little early. But I'm going to draw it down to about 11 volts and see what. No more than 11. Okay, rev it up, please. And we got 75 amps of an output. Okay. So what we found out is that alternator could put 75 amps. That's a lot of amps. That's like 10 sets of headlights. And uh, it's, in a modern car, you're expecting over 100. In, uh, as the cars are you know, a little bit more older, anything over 65. So if you're getting between 65 and 100, more than likely 
the alternators okay. If you're only getting 20 or 30, there's a problem with the alternator and uh, it has failed the test. One problem I noticed with this car is the voltage, regulated voltage is down a little bit, which may or may not affect the performance of the vehicle. So we would conclude then that the alternator is charging uh, 75 and I think with the age of this vehicle that's about all you could expect out of it and the um, the belts uh, at that point did not squeal and uh, everything seemed just fine. So we're going to conclude that th this one's okay except for the voltage pro uh, problem uh, that uh, we'll look into later. And that's a minor problem because it's still charging uh, uh, when it gets under that voltage. So disconnect. Disconnect the uh, inductive pickup. And I want the uh, cables draped over the machine so they do not drag on the ground. Pause the cable. We can bring around and move here. The negative cable. Very much.